Hi, my name is Ishan from Clark High School. Support for today's varsity quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Next on Varsity Quiz, it's Coronado and Clark. This is the Silver League Championship match of Varsity Quiz. Hello, welcome to the 49th season of Varsity Quiz. I'm your host, Nathan Tanadrum. Here, the best and the brightest high school students are matching wits in this unique academic competition. Tonight, the road to the Silver League Championship ends. Coronado and Clark are facing off in a rematch of last year's championship. Let's meet our players. Starting for Clark, we say hello to Shreya. Hi, Shreya. There's Alex. Hey, Alex. Hello. Noah. Hey, Noah, Nate. hello. Ishan. Ladies and gentlemen, the team from Clark High School. <laughs> Starting tonight for Coronado, we say hello to Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Hey, Nate. There's Tim. Hi, Tim. How's it going, Nate? Mostly sunny. <laughs> Simon, how are you? Hey, Nate. Good to see you. And Brandon. Ladies and gentlemen, the team from Coronado. <laughs> All right, there are 25 questions in this first round. Uh, each correct answer worth five points. Students, we ask that you speak loudly and clearly. The microphones will hear almost anything you say, but if you're speaking softly, the judges here may not be able to hear you. And even if your answer might be correct, if the judges can't hear you, it could be judged an incorrect answer. So please speak up. Everyone ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. While lateral means away from the midline, what term means... <phone rings> Clark, Ishan. Transverse. Incorrect. What term means toward the midline? <phone rings> Coronado, Brandon. Sagittal. Incorrect. We're looking for medial. Next question, called the 625 in the south for the day it started and the Fatherland Liberation War in the north. What conflict is also known as the Forgotten War in the United States? Clark, Ishan. The Korean War? Yes. May 25th is Towel Day, a day of no panic celebrating. And that is Coronado, Tim. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Incorrect. Celebrating the life and works of what British author of a trilogy of five books. Clark, Ishan. Adams. Yes. The name for what kind of barometer was derived from the Greek words that literally mean no water? Coronado, Tim. Anhydride. I don't think we can take that. No. Uh, Clark, Ishan. Anhydrometer. Incorrect. We're looking for aneroid barometer. The following lines are about whose trial in 1735. Twelve New York jurors in... Clark, Noah? Zenger. Yes. What term, beginning with B as in boy, in wildlife management indicates the leaves, shoots, brushy plants, and young twigs consumed by deer and other ungulates? Clark, Alex? Brush. Incorrect. Coronado, Tim? Biomass. No, we were looking for browse. So no correct answer. We move to the next question, which is a calculation question. Simplify the square root of 128 plus the square root of 32. Repeating, simplify the square, and that'll be Clark, Alex. 12 times the square root of 2. Yes. Next question. In 2017, a Wall Street Journal article said the following about whom? Antonin Scalia changed the way mainstream judges think about their role in representative democracy. On this investiture day, the Scalia tradition boasts a worthy inheritor. Coronado Simon. Gorsuch. Yes. In 1836, what lieutenant colonel in command of the regular troops at San Antonio joined... Coronado Brandon. Zachary Taylor. Incorrect. Joined forces with Jim Bowie's volunteers to occupy an old Spanish mission. Clark Noah. Houston. No, we we're looking for William Travis. Next question. What kind of mechanical wave is illustrated by people... Coronado, Tim. Surface. Incorrect. By people sequentially standing up and sitting down in a sports stadium. Clark, Alex. Transverse. Judge, we can accept that. Yes. What art museum was built opposite the Louvre across the Seine using a train station for the main structure? Clark, Ishan. The Orsay? Yes. Unexpectedly, and to the extraordinary chagrin of the Chicago Tribune, who beat Thomas... 
Clark, Ishan. Truman. Yes. Since methane, butane, polyethylene, ethanol, acetone, and epoxy resins are all derived from natural gas or petroleum, they are collectively known as what kind of <laughs> Clark Ishan? Organic. Incorrect. What kind of chemicals? <laughs> Coronado Brandon? Petroleum. I don't think we can accept that. We were looking for petrochemicals. Next question. Express the following alternation as a conjunctive statement. She'll disregard the law or lie. And that is Coronado, Tim. She'll either disregard the law or lie. Incorrect. Clark, Ishan. She'll disregard the law or she will lie. Incorrect. We're looking for she'll disregard the law and lie. No correct answer. We move on to a calculation question. You have a jug filled with lemonade that weighs 10 pounds. When you dump out exactly half the lemonade, the remaining lemonade and jug weigh 5.75 pounds. What's the weight of the jug alone? Repeating, you have a jug filled, uh, Coronado Simon? 1.5 pounds. Yes. In what story is young Jonas selected to inherit the position of re Clark Shreya? The giver. Yes. Next question. Under the Articles of Confederation, by what ordinance did Congress establish the precedent? Clark Ishan. Northwest Ordinance. Yes. In a suspension, the solute particles will settle out over time. In what kind of mixture? Coronado Tim. Colloid. Yes. Any two odd numbers are congruent in what modulo? Clark Alex. Two. Yes. Five years after the massacre of Custer's troops at the Battle of Little Bighorn, what hunk Papa Lakota Sioux leader surrendered? Clark Ishan. Sitting Bull? Yes. The immigration, the, sorry, the immigrant from Waldorf, Germany, who became the leading American fur merchant by the beginning of the 19th century? A Coronado, Tyler. Astor. Yes. In the lithograph Waterfall, what Dutch artist depicts the water of a waterfall seeming? Clark Ishan. M.C. Escher. Yes. Trans-Neptunian objects include objects in the Kuiper Belt and objects in Coronado Tim. Oort cloud. Yes. Give the term for a sound made by combining two vowels, specifically when it starts. Clark, Alex. Diphthong. Yes. Due to the exchange of Rudolf Abel for Francis Powers that took place there in 1962. Coronado Tim. Berlin. Incorrect. The Gleinecke Bridge that linked West Berlin with Potsdam came to be known as the Bridge of what? Clark Ishan. Spies. Yes. That's the end of round one. Now, here in Varsity Quiz, each player has filled out an information card for the CCSD Varsity Quiz staff, revealing sometimes humorous details. But we've already chatted with all of our students. They're amazing. So tonight we're switching it up just a bit. We're having each of the young men and women answer the exact same question. And here's the question. We'll start with Shreya from Clark. For every student, just tell us, what are your plans after high school? Shreya? Um, after high school, I'd like to go to a pretty good college and then hopefully um, do some kind of career in the medical field. Awesome. Good luck with that. Thank you, Shreya. Next up, Alex from Clark. You've got a couple years to go, but do you have plans for after high school? I'll probably just go to college and uh, figure it out from there. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Noah, how about you? Uh, I will be embarking on a two-year mission after college or after high school and then hopefully uh, pursue a career in nuclear physics. Wonderful. Good luck with both of those. Thanks for being a great player on the varsity quiz, Noah. And Ishan. Probably procrastinate about it like I'm currently doing. Alrighty then. So we'll check back with you later. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our students from Clark High School. They're all wonderful. Good luck, you guys. Now to get to know our players on Coronado, we start with Tyler. Do you have plans for after high school? Uh, probably just go to college, uh, get on a reality TV show, get famous from that, run for the Senate, then run for president, win the presidency, and then make a lot of money off book deals. Wow, sounds like a plan. Good luck with that, Tyler. <laughs> Tim, how about you? Uh, well, I will also be going to college. Uh, I'm, I will be attending in the fall MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. But once I get there, I am going to try with all of my might to be able to major in my favorite subject of all, bistromathics. Oh, that's right. We've <laughs> talked about that. Well, congrats on the MIT and good luck with the, the bistro thing. Simon, how about you? Um, I'll be serving a two-year mission for my church and then going to college somewhere. 
I expect that you're going to do fine. Simon, thank you. And Brandon? I'll probably go to college, and then beyond that, I don't know. That's close <laughs> enough for now, Brandon. Ladies and gentlemen, the students from Coronado. All right, coming up next in our championship match, the bonus round is next. Going into round two, the score Clark with 70 points to Coronado's 25. Before we begin our bonus round, we want to introduce a couple of new players for Clark. We say hello to Evan. Hi, Evan. Hello. Glad to have you here. And Shadman. Hey, Shadman. Hey. Now for Coronado, they are keeping the same players. We wish good luck to both teams. In this bonus round, each of 10 possible questions is worth five points. The team with the correct answer will get two bonus questions, each worth five points. Now, team conferring will be permitted only on the bonus questions with 10 seconds allowed before the team captain's response. This round is timed at six minutes, which starts when I begin this first question. Meaning stronger, what is the third word of the motto that begins with this? Sidious, Altius, blank. Clark, Ishan? Optimus. Incorrect. Coronado, Tim. Maximus. No, it's Fortius. No correct answer, no bonus questions. We move to this question. Derived from the Spanish language, what is the synonym commonly used in the southwestern United States for a gulch or wash? Clark, Ishan. Arroyo. Yes, bonus questions for Clark only. Answer the following associated with language. First, the Latin phrase in situ literally means what? And second, what flower name can be made from the three Greek letters, Edda? New and pie. Not insight and petunia. Insight and petunia. Yeah, petunia. Right. Or insight and petunia. Captain. For the first, in place. For a second, insight petunia. The I think those are both correct. Yes, you've got bonus points. And we move to this question for both teams. The Texas School Book Depository, now home to what museum? Uh, Clark, Noah. JFK assassination. That's incorrect. That presents the life, death, and legacy of President John F. Kennedy. Coronado, Brandon. The John F. Kennedy Museum. No, it's called the Sixth Floor Museum. No correct answer, no bonus questions. We move on. Northern Lights was the title of the first book in Philip Pullman's young adult trilogy, His Dark Materials, when published in the United Kingdom in 1995. Clark Ishan. The Golden Compass. Yes. Bonus questions now for Clark only. Give an answer containing the word gold. First, at its peak in the 14th century, what empire's territory extended from the Carpathian Mountains in Eastern Europe to the steppes of Siberia? Second, name the 1981 film that starred Henry Fonda in his last acting role for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. City of gold. All right. For the first, Golden Horde. For the second, City of Gold. The first is correct. The second is incorrect. The movie for Henry Fonda was on Golden Pond. So some bonus points. And this question now for both teams. It is a calculation question. On a speedometer dial, if a movement of the needle equivalent to a 10 degree angle represents a speed of 5 miles per hour, what angle represents a speed of 60 miles per hour? Coronado, Simon? 120 degrees. Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, what acceleration results when a 12 Newton force is applied to a 3 kilogram object? Second, to the nearest whole number, how much horsepower is needed to lift a 1,000 pound object 500 feet in one minute? Repeating, what acceleration results when a 12 Newton force is applied to a 3 kilogram object? Second, to the nearest whole number, how much horsepower is needed to lift a 1,000 pound object 500 feet in one minute? You have to multiply oh, yeah. them because that's the force and then 500,000. How many times does 60 go into that? Um, 83. Captain. For the first, 4 meters per second squared. And for the second, 43. The second is incorrect. Let me see if the judges will accept the first one. The first one is correct, so you do get some bonus points. Now this question for both teams. Name the site of an unsuccessful Spartan stand against the Persians. 
Uh, Coronado, Brandon? Thermopylae. Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following associated with ancient history. First, what is the Latin phrase for the time of relative peace and stability in the Roman Empire from about 27 BC to 180 AD? Second, Jericho is an ancient city located near what river? The Jordan River. Jordan River? Yeah. Okay. For the first, Pax Romana. For the second, the Jordan River. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. This question for both teams. What Broadway musical was based on the family of the highly decorated World War I naval officer, Coronado Tim? Sound of Music? Yes. Bonus questions now for Coronado only. Answer the following associated with Broadway musicals. First, name the 1950s Broadway musical set in New York featuring gamblers and sinners based on two short stories by Damon Runyon, one of the main characters, Nathan Detroit. Second, name the hit comedy Broadway musical based on Monty Python and the Holy Grail. What is that? Camelot. Flying Circus. Camelot. Camelot. Is that what that is? Probably Camelot. I don't know, but I've heard of it. Is that, is that a Broadway musical? That's the best guess I got. I think. Captain. Okay. For the first, anything goes. For the second, Camelot. Both are incorrect. We're looking for guys and dolls and spam a lot. Next question for both teams. In what country would you find major cities named for Horatio Nelson? Coronado, Brandon. Portugal? That is incorrect. Yeah, we need an immediate answer. Let me finish the question. A major city is named for Horatio Nelson, the Duke of Wellington, and the Earl of Auckland. Clark, Ishan. New Zealand. Yes, bonus questions now for Clark only. Answer the following concerning geography. First, what waterway is situated in the northwestern part of the Sinai Peninsula? Second, the Sud and the Okavango Delta are immense marshland areas on what continent? Yes. For the first, Suez Canal. For the second, Africa. Both are correct. You got bonus points. Both teams, this question, from even a close distance, the insect called a plant hopper looks very much like a leaf. What's the term for such resemblance of an organism? Coronado, Tim? Camouflage. Incorrect, of an organism to an object in its surroundings. Clark Shadman? Dimorphism. No, we're looking for mimicry. Next question, we're out of time. That is the end of the bonus round. Now before we move on, we want to take a moment to thank the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. They provide judges, timekeepers at each and every match of our season that began much earlier in the school year with dozens of matches in classrooms at various schools around Clark County. We appreciate the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, their dedication to Varsity Quiz, and we salute all of their fine work in the community. We also want to give a shout out to the staff and leadership of the Clark County School District Student Activities Department. They coordinate every step of this program from early in the school year all the way to the championships and beyond. Our speed round is next. Going into round three, the score, Clark 110 to Coronado's 55. We say it all the time, anything can happen in the speed round. We do want to introduce one new player for Clark. It's Brock. Howdy, Brock. Hey. Good luck to you. And Coronado keeping the same players. So there are 30 questions in this speed round. Correct answers are worth five points. Now this round is also timed at six minutes, so we're going to get to as many questions as we can. If we read all 30 before the six minutes are up, the match would be over after that response to the 30th question. Let's go. What element was named for a mineral that was once transported by mule? Coronado, Tim. Uh, tungsten? Incorrect. By mule teams out of Death Valley, California. We are looking for boron. Only what language is spoken by more people than English or Spanish? Clark Shatman. Mandarin? Yes. The three dietary monosaccharides include galactose, Glucto glucose and what fruit sugar? That's Coronado Simon. Fructose? Yes. Who was the ruler of Egypt when it became a Roman province? Uh, Clark Shadman. Cleopatra the seventh. Yes. Next is a calculation question, not repeated in the speed round. What is the sum of these two numbers in the hexadecimal system? B A three plus five D E. Oh, we're looking for 1,181. Next, what short story by Edgar Allan Poe takes place around the time of Tomas de Torquemada and uh, Clark Ishan? The Pit and the Pendulum? Yes. The sands at White Sands National Monument in New Mexico consist of what mineral? Clark, Brock? Calcium. Incorrect. 
Coronado. Brandon? Telecom. No, we're looking for gypsum. Next question. Among the famous monoliths in the United States are El Capitan, Half Dome, and Morro. Clark, Ishan? Yosemite. No, in Morro Rock in what state? Coronado, Brandon? Utah. No, they're in California. Next question. In 2016, the moon was closer to the Earth than any time since 19... Coronado, Tim? Supermoon. Incorrect. Since 1948, name that point in the moon's orbit. Clark, Ishan. Sis Jizzy. Incorrect. We're looking for perigee. Next question. The following words are borrowed from what language? Bandana. Coronado, Tim. Spanish. Incorrect. Bangle and Nirvana. Clark, Shadman. Hindi. Yes. Next is a calculation question. You have two complementary angles. The larger one is 14 degrees. Clark, Shadman. 76 degrees. Incorrect. I'll finish the question. The larger one is 14 degrees greater than three times the smaller one. What is the smaller angle? Coronado, Simon. 14 degrees. Incorrect. We're looking for 19 degrees. Next question. What city in southwest Germany was the site of Martin Luther's trial in 15... Coronado, Brandon. Wittenberg. No, 1521. Uh, Clark, Ishan? Worms. Louder? Worms, spelled W-O-R-S. Yes, that's correct. Uh, next question. What one term encompasses Earth's lith lithosphere, hydrosphere, cryosphere, and atmosphere? Coronado, Tim. Crust. No. Clark, Shadman? Geosphere. Yes. In what country would you find a port city named for Admiral Sir Fairfax Morrisby? Clark, Ishan? New Guinea. We need more? Papua New Guinea. Yes. What device used to measure wind speed incorporates cups attached? Clark, Noah? Ammeter. No. Incorporates cups attached to a vertical shaft. It's an anemometer. Next question. Name the poet whose sonnet 43 begins? Coronado, Brandon. Shakespeare. Incorrect. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Clark, Ishan? Browning? Yes. In 1989, massive protests occurred in what? Clark, Shadman? Iran? Incorrect. In what Beijing Square in the People's Coronado, Simon? Tiananmen Square? Yes. Isohaline lines on oceanographic charts connect points of equal what? Coronado, Tim? Pressure? Incorrect. Clark, Noah? Salinity? Yes. In 1952, after King Talal was declared unfit to rule on grounds of mental illness, his son, Prince Hussein, became king of what Mideast country? Clark, Noah? Jordan. Yes. What taxonomic phylum includes the greatest number of creatures? Uh, Coronado, Tim? Cordata. Incorrect. Number of creatures with compound eyes. Clark, Brock? Insects. No, we're looking for arthropoda or pata. If you were on dry land 15 meters below sea level in Australia, you'd be in or near what lake? Clark, Ishan. Lake Eyre? Yes. Mississippi men associated with what white supremacist organization? Coronado, Tyler? Ku Klux Klan? Yes. Uh, what heat transfer process produces anabatic winds? Coronado, Tim. Convection? Yes. Give the name of the short-lived Mormon state in the American West that was Clark Ishan. Deseret? Yes. What is the only Fibonacci number other than one that's a perfect Coronado Tim? Three. Incorrect. That's a perfect cube. Clark Noah? Eight. Yes. Name the first vessel to travel to a latitude of 90 degrees north. Clark Ishan. The Perry? Incorrect. Coronado Tim? No, it was the USS Nautilus. What measure of a neutral atom equals the number of protons in its nucleus? Coronado, Tim? Nuclear charge. Incorrect. Clark, Noah? Atomic number. Yes. What battle involving Anthony Wayne was so named? Clark, Ishan? The Battle of Fallen Timbers. Yes, and we're out of time. Let's find out who won. The final score, Clark with 185 points to Coronado's 75. Clark is the Varsity Quiz champion for 2017 and 18, but a congratulations to both teams.
And a shout out to Coronado. You guys have nothing to hang your heads about. Congratulations to you. Now to make our trophy presentation, we welcome in John Case, the president of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. Take it away, John. Yes, on, the, <coughs> on behalf of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and other sponsors of Varsity Quiz, I'd like to present the silver trophy to Clark High School. Congratulations, Captain Noah Cahill. Great job, you guys. John, thank you, and thanks to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas for all of your support. Now we invite you to join us next Monday for the Silver League All-Star Match. Yes, an All-Star Match, a lighthearted contest featuring some of the best players from all the teams in the Silver League, competing for fun, but also for bragging rights. We'll also be announcing the winner of this year's Howard Naylor Scholarship Prize. That's next Monday at 7.30 for one more night of Varsity Quiz right here on Vegas PBS. Good night.